the formidable robot. La Fonda Pasta is the name of a creepy pasta narration and review channel, which primarily focuses on lost episode stories. You should check the channel out, it's really cool. I have been watching this channel for a while, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. However, the only reason I am making this post is to archive something that happened on this channel that I feel I need to bring to light, as it genuinely concerns me. One day, out of nowhere without a warning, a video was uploaded to the channel titled, La Fonda Pasta by La Fonda Pasta, Review Plus Rant. The name followed the typical formula you would expect of a La Fonda Pasta video. The title, the author's username, and the words review in brackets. Sometimes when a story was bad enough, he would put review plus rant there instead, so it checked out. What didn't check out was the fact that the name made zero sense outside of the fact it followed the typical formula. The title being La Fonda Pasta was strange enough, but the writer being La Fonda Pasta themselves while still having review plus rant in it was absurd. They never reviewed their own stories, which was odd, but having rant in the title was especially odd. The advertised story was seemingly new, so having there be an immediate rant about it was confusing to me. He didn't let it sink in, he just hated it off the bat. The closest thing he's done to this is his NRI video, where he read the story normally up until the Spongebob with bloodshot eyes part, where he just screamed into the mic over music. But this video didn't have review plus rant in its title. The thumbnail was just the channel's profile picture. The video is immediately off. It starts off with the normal intro only to immediately start playing every single video uploaded to the La Fonda Pasta channel ever, layered over each other with their opacities all respectfully turned down, mixing the videos with each other. The entirety of this section of the video is without background music, just being a barrage of noises. Something it took me very quickly to notice was the fact the audio was reverberated, making everything sound even more ethereal otherworldly trippy than it already would be without the effect. The real concerning part of this video is when the so-called review comes in. It starts off with the image that is usually there staying on screen, like usual. And that was La Fonda Pasta by La Fonda Pasta. Okay, review time. The picture stayed on screen without any noise whatsoever for a very long amount of time. Suddenly, after this long amount of time, La Fonda began to speak. How many times? You could hear the fan in the background along with the somewhat quiet sound of La Fonda heavily breathing, seemingly trying to keep his composure. The following is what I remember from the rant. How many times do I have to make a fucking mockery of myself? It isn't really like I have anything to offer. I laze away, not only melting into my seat, but then fucking evaporate into steam or vapor. I have so much, things I could do that aren't this. He breathes in. Yet here I am. Nobody will give a shit about how fucking lazy I am, this is pointless. So many things I have to say about how I do nothing. They don't care. They could care less. They have important things to do, things that aren't fucking insignificant. Fucking. I don't, know, how to know what to do. So, I do nothing. I put up a puppet show about how my life would be if I didn't do something, but I even failed at doing that. After more silence, he screams at the top of his lungs. Sir, I want to die! The screen suddenly cuts to an edited image of the review time art. The area where LaFonda's face should be is just empty fuzz. The top of La Fonda's head has a giant purple open mouth attached. The review time book has the words lead written on it. The entire screen has been immensely distorted. The sound in the background was screaming. Sounds of objects being thrown around the room, stock screams, explosions, gunfire, immensely loud banging on a door, and a rising tone. But the worst part was that not all of the screams were stock sounds. Some were from La Fonda themselves. I could tell they were screaming something, but I couldn't make out the words. The sound would go on for so long, becoming louder by the second, and getting more violent as it goes on. Suddenly, the entire screen changes back to normal and the sound stops. He spoke in a manner unfitting of somebody who just had a self-loathing fueled meltdown. 
But as always this is simply my personal opinion. We all have our opinions regarding these stories. What did you think of the story? What would you do to improve upon it? And as always I'll see you all in the next narration. I love you all. Bless. The video ends normally, and nothing else happens afterwards. Shortly after the upload of this video, it was deleted. I only got the screenshot of the part where shit really hits the fan. If anybody has any proof of this video's existence, please DM me. I'm genuinely concerned, and I don't want this to just be ignored. If you have any proof of this video's existence, DM me. Please.